guys and welcome back to Moe's Munchie Box. So today we're filming the second video in our Bradford series. We've come to Pekiza, which you can hopefully see behind me. Uh, so this place is absolutely famous in this area. So initially they started off life as a supermarket and then they moved into the food side of things. Their main thing is, as you can probably see on the banner behind me, it's all authentic food as to be that they would make it in their own house for their own families. So we thought, let's come, and come out, give it a shot, see if it is as authentic as they claim it to be, and we'll be the judge of that. So we'll see inside, order a few things, and then let's smash into the food. Hopefully it's as good as the last video we just done at Salas. If you've not checked that out, go to that video after this. Okay, so that's us now seated inside. There is only a few seats in here, but it's amazing. It's suitable for ourselves. We've got a few different bits and bobs to go through. We've got to start with pizza, which looks heavenly. Uh, I'm loving the fact that they've got like sea kebab in the crust. After that, we'll go to the masala fish, which looks divine. Um, after that, we've got a lamb curry on the bone. So when we chose this one, I asked the guy, what's your most famous one? What's the one that people come for? And he said, lamb on the bone, so why not? So let's... Pizza is very, very heavy. Um, I'm pretty sure we've just went for the one with peppers and vegetarian one, even though it's got a big bit of sea kebab in the, day, in the crust, but it'll, it'll do me. Nice bit of chicken right there as well. Quite clear, not the best student one. I'll got say I didn't know what kind of pizza it was. It was just sitting there staring at me, screaming, eat me, eat me, eat me. So I was like, I will eat you. The pizza itself is really heavy, but so nice. It's so soft, so delicate. Teeth goes through fruits so quickly. Um, the flavours in that are wow, wow, wow. It's still piping hot. I can tell straight away the peppers, the onions, the meat in that is so fresh, so tasty, so juicy. This is going to be like top end of the pizza game. I'm going to now try this crust because it's got the sea kebab in there. I've heard so much about it from so many reviewers who have came and done this place. So, Food Review Club came here, uh, Rate My Takeaway came out here, put his chair right outside the door. K-Man Food Reviews, Mr Munchbox, they've all been here and now most Munchieboxes are trying this famous pizza as well. So, so good. Like, I can't even describe how good that is. I've obviously had pizzas which have had a stuffed crust in the past, but absolutely nothing compares to this. Um, meat is so well marinated, it's so soft, so tender. Even if you're someone who didn't have teeth, your lips would go through that. So, yeah, that is divine. Cannot wait to smash into that after I've done the rest of the review. So, we should move that to the side now and then we'll get stuck into something else. I'm just going to take a wee moment to appreciate my sauce uh, as well. So you've got your chilli sauce and your, I'm assuming this is the mint sauce that pretty much every authentic Asian place has. Fish is so soft it's literally falling apart in my hand here. Look how white that is on the inside as well. Oh, they feel like I'm having your like just holding this and smelling this. So when it comes to the masala fish, you can have it either grilled or fried. Ask the guy behind the counter which one is your best. He said. If I was eating it, I'd go for the grilled one. And my god, I can see why we would go for that. As you can see, when I was picking it up, it was just falling apart in my hand so smoothly, so softly. The wine is the only word I can use to describe that. Just wow, wow, wow. 10 out of 10. Uh, that is it. Like, uh, I don't think any review is going to get better than what I've just tasted there. 
I'm not even going to try that with mandrays or anything else because that fish is just... Oh, um, yeah, wow. <laughs> just move that away now and get stuck into my third thing. So the final thing I've got here is my on the bone lamb curry. Just going to grab a bit of mandrays and get stuck into this. I've got to say that the man bread in here is so warm and fluffy as well. Everything's made in store. They've got about six, well, five, six maybe chefs in the background just working as hard as they can. The place is super busy. The curry is not just watery garbage, it's nice, thick, good texture to it. Right, so see the curry itself, nice meaty flavour to it, not too thick. You can tell that all the herb, or not herb spices, but all the spices in there, they're not over the top, just so you can appreciate the lamby taste of it. Just then try a bit of the lamb by itself now and see how that stacks up. I cannot even tell how big the bone in this is, so if you see me scream like a V-I-A-T-C-H, I do apologise. I did not touch the spoon, so I will put it back in the thing. So soft. Do you know what I'm going to do is actually, I'm just going to pick up another bit and just break it. Uh, just so you can see how... Let me choose a bit that's not raw. But that literally just pulls apart my hand. Usually, sometimes when you get lamb, it's like so sturdy, rough, and it just doesn't break. Even the texture of that in there is... Oh. Cameraman to both. Please stop sucking your fingers on camera. Mo to cameraman. I'll do what I want, Mr. Cameraman. Um, Wow, like, all I can say about that is game changing curry. It's Bradford, I was expecting high points in the curry. 100% delivers. I was quite confident when I was at the counter, I also asked for some chicken legs. Potentially, they didn't hear me saying chicken legs or they've forgotten my chicken legs. So, just going to base it on what we've had here. The pizza, very strong 9 out of 10. That crust is a 10 out of 10, but overall, the pizza, I'm saying 9 out of 10. Masala fish, straight 10. Anyone says that's not a 10 is an absolute mug. Um, the curry, definitely up there in terms of what we had in Charcoals in Glasgow and that food review. I'm going to say that's a solid 9 out of 10. Overall, Pekiza supermarket, and remember this is a supermarket we've came to, it's not an out and out takeaway. They've just got a takeaway section off it and then the supermarket section off it. 9 out of 10 for these guys. Um, so that's our review. If you've liked the content, why not throw us a thumbs up? Subscribe to the channel to keep seeing our content. We'll be filming a few videos in the Bradford area. Then we've got lots of Scottish reviews. Um, and jump in the comment section, guys. Do you agree with me here? Have you been to this uh, fine establishment? Let us know your opinions. We'd love to hear from you. And we'll see you in the next video.